Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this channel, I'll be explaining a few very basic but highly important lighting techniques which are very important for everyone aspiring to be a successful 3D artist. Having a thorough experience of working as a 3D lighting artist, I was very fortunate to have worked on many projects ranging from 3D feature films to architecture walkthroughs. In every project, a lot of importance is given to the beauty and realism in the final output. By using appropriate lighting techniques, the entire project's look and feel can complement the theme and the story of the project, resulting in a successful, believable 3D work of art which will eventually be accepted by a large audience world over. Now let's talk about lighting. Light is important because without light, we end up seeing nothing. The moment we open our eyes, we see objects and shapes of different colors, shades and sizes all because of lighting. Basically, we perceive everything around us due to lights. Now let's learn the origins of light. The biggest source of light for us is the sun. As soon as the earth revolves and the side which faces the sun becomes illuminated by the light rays which reaches the earth by a medium called photons. The moment the sun rays reaches the earth's atmosphere, they scatter and start emitting different hues or colors. Before we continue any further, we must understand the concept of colors and how they scatter or disperse. For understanding the principle of light dispersion, the easiest method is by using a prism and placing it in front of a white light. The moment the light ray passes through it, the ray disperses and forms a spectrum of colors. Now let's compare the same phenomenon with a rainbow. When we have a very humid environment or a rainy season, or when we are near a waterfall with lots of water particles, we are sure enough to notice a rainbow. When sun rays passes through the dense medium of tiny water particles, a spectrum of colors is visible, which is called dispersion. Now let's compare both of these examples with our atmosphere, as a large thick medium through which whenever sun rays enters, lots of colors are emitted due to which we see differences in colors of the sun and sky as per the different timings in a day. Now, having some clarifications about the sun being the single most powerful source of light, let us discuss about the role of the second most important source of illumination, that is the sky. To make things simpler, we will consider sun as a direct source of light and sky as being the indirect source of light. Whenever sun's rays enters the atmosphere surrounding our planet Earth, the white sun rays get dispersed and emits colors the same way that they are emitted through the prism. We see our sky having a blue color due to the gases which are present in our atmosphere. The color of the sky changes with the different time of a day as the angle of the sun's rays entering our atmosphere changes. Evening sky may appear warmer and red because light rays has to travel through a thick medium of pollution, dust, particles and gases which are present near the surface of the earth. The more a light has to travel, the more it scatters and only the colors with the longest wavelengths are able to be visible, which is a red color. Red color having the largest wavelength is able to reach us, whereas colors having shorter wavelengths scatters in environment like the blue color. Hence, we can conclude that the reason we see lots of purple, orange and red color in the morning and evening is because of the angle of the sun which is parallel to the earth's surface. It also becomes possible for us to see the sun with our naked eye as the thick filter of dust particles, pollution and gases diffuses the sun rays to such an extent that a human can see a sun without any difficulty. Things are a bit different in the afternoon as the sun's rays has to travel considerably low distances due to which we see very bright and white sun rays reaching us without any obstructions. This results in the sky being slightly blue since the light is not dispersed as much as it does in the evening or morning. It is highly recommended not to see the sun directly in the afternoon as they have least obstruction of the atmosphere. So we can conclude that the sun is the primary source of light and sky is the secondary source of light which affects our environment and its look and feel. In the next video, we will learn more about lighting as per the different timing of the day.